Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write inequalities from number lines. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now remember, when it comes to inequalities, a filled circle means that number is included in the solutions. An open circle means that number is not included in the solutions. So let's jump into number one, where we have a filled circle above two. So we know two is going to be included in our solutions. We have an arrow pointing to the right, which means that any number greater than two is going to be a solution as well. And the arrow represents the infinite amount of solutions there as far as numbers greater than two. So we are going to use X to represent our solutions. And again, we want to include two and then anything greater than two. So X is going to be greater than or equal to two. Now you can write that inequality starting with two and saying two is less than or equal to X. Both of those inequalities mean the same thing. The order is just different. Obviously we have the X first in the first one and the two first in the second one, but they are both saying the same thing and represented by the same uh, graph on a number line. So on to number two, where we have an open circle above negative one. So negative one is not going to be included in our solutions. The arrow is pointing to the left. So we want all the numbers less than negative one. So we'll use X again. X is going to represent our solution. So X has to be less than negative one. And negative one, again, is not included because of the open circle. So we do not want an or equal to symbol for this inequality. So X is less than negative one. Any number less than negative one would be a correct solution. And we have an infinite number of correct solutions as far as that inequality goes. And that arrow represents that. Now we can also write that inequality starting with negative one and saying negative one is greater than X. Again, both of those inequalities mean the same thing. The order is just different. On to number three, where we have an open circle above 58. So 58 is not included in our solutions. And the arrow is pointing to the left. So we want all of the numbers that are less than 58 as far as solutions go. So X is going to be less than 58. Or we could say that 58 is greater than X. And lastly, number four, we have a filled circle above 12. So 12 is going to be a solution. We have an arrow pointing to the right. So we want all of the numbers greater than 12 to be represented for solutions within our inequality. So we will write X and X is going to be greater than or equal to 12. Or we could say that 12 is less than or equal to X. So there you have it. There's how you write inequalities from number lines. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.